wind, water, destruction. And thanks to the FAA, relief and restoration. We are better prepared to handle hurricanes this season than ever before. When we enter into those events, we have generally 48 to 72 hours to prepare for it. And then the actions around that could last anywhere from 24 hours to 24 or more days. The key to our successful response to those hurricanes has been our preparation. And every person within the ATO, every person within the FAA is an element of that preparation. Stakes are high. Without air services, the aftermath of a hurricane can be disastrous. The FAA's response saves livelihoods and lives. The main issue with hurricanes is uh, the unknown. We never know how long it will linger, just the torrential downpours that they kind of stall, and then how fast our response can be to come back in in order to kind of assess the damage and see what we can do to help the people that are on the ground. Our team has a lot of experience, years of experience with uh, severe weather, specifically around the hurricane season, that train to function under these emergency crisis situations. But what has changed over the years now is an increasing emphasis on sustaining the air navigation services that keep the system running. Our federal, state, and local partners needed a single interface with the FAA so that we could have effective partnership with them, making sure that we maximize its resilience and its ability to bounce back after we have disruptions that are in the system. This year, we are stepping up the efforts of our Joint Air Traffic Operations Command. JTOC will continue to lead hurricane response with its crisis action team and forward operations response team. The JCAT's function is when a crisis happens, when, when something disrupts the national aviation system, then we coalesce that response. We have eight service units in air traffic, and having one place where we can all get the data together and then use that data to make the best decisions for the NAS, having us all headed in the, for the same goals with the same priorities is, is critical to our success that's going to make us a much, much stronger team, much more effective, much more efficient team, I think you'll probably see us recover a lot quicker now. So we really pinpointed uh, the requirements of air traffic around frequencies, restoration, and prioritized those through the JCAT and JTOC to be really synchronized messaging for the ATO and whole of FAA. The J4 is the eyes and ears of our leadership out in the field to both receive information and to deal with issues and make decisions out there in the field. By including everyone in a more collaborative effort, that involves the military, our tech ops folks, air traffic, of course, sysops as well. And that team is built to work within the confines of the U.S. government and provide aviation services and relief into an area. No matter how prepared we are as an agency, it's our people who save the day and handle the hurricane. We've honed our ability to react to these more streamlined. And we have the capability to very quickly recover uh, from these storms. The foundation of hurricane response is our workforce in the field. And our teams are rock solid and they do a fantastic job. I have never failed to be amazed at the ingenuity and the innovation of our FA employees out there who do everything they can not only to get the system up and running, but to help each other. And that just really makes you proud to be a member of the FAA.